Hello, I'm Leo Brown. This is the What If a District podcast as we take a look at our gospel reading. Holy Week, we're headed into the home stretch here. And for us Kentuckians, that means a lot because it's almost derby time, right? So not that Easter and derby necessarily always coincide. Sometimes they're very far apart, but that's kind of something that's on people's minds around here. So anyway, as we head into the home stretch and we look at our gospel reading for today, of course, we're going to get closer and closer. We just had the the crucifixion narrative, and now this time of moving through all of these events. And, of course, here we're looking at John 12, 1 through 11. Jesus has returned to Bethany to the home of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And uh, Judas has a, a big problem with what happens there, right? Because this is where uh, Martha takes the... Um, the the um, uh, Martha serves the dinner. Forgive me, and then uh, Mary takes the the jar of perfume and then uh, begins to anoint the feet of Jesus and and dries uh, his feet with her hair. And this is uh, just a scandal, right? It's a scandal to Lazarus. Lazarus. Lazarus is there. It's a scandal to Judas, not to Lazarus. Forgive me, because he is saying. We could use this money for the poor. Now, he, he's a, a thief. He's been stealing money, and that's his concern. He's like, oh, we could make a lot of money off this, and I could be getting some of that, right? So as we look at this and we kind of try to find our virtue, it, it, I think it really just kind of boils down to this, and that is, what is our intention, right? What is our intention in all of this? Are we really trying to serve God and others, are we doing it unselfishly? Are we trying to find a way to say, hey, I'm going to be as giving and as generous and to have the heart of Christ, or are we going to have the heart of Judas? And I think that if we're honest, sometimes we see, wow, you know, I'm leaning more toward that Judas side than the Jesus side. And that's something we got to really think about because if that's where we are, if that's where we're finding our inclinations, then we got to do something about that. And we got to pray for grace and we've got to say, hey, help me be more generous. Help me give of myself. Because we see where Judas ended up. We don't want to follow that path. So that's the prayer. Generosity, grace. Can we live that? And that will look like something naturally, right? To find out more about What If It Is True, visit us online at realliferadio.com. We stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and in the Lexington, Kentucky area, we're at two radio stations, 94.9 FM, 1380 AM, and the companion blog over at whatifitistruerealife.blogspot.com. This is the What If It Is True podcast. I'm Leo Brown. God bless.